All right, Keith, you were commenting in our last half hour that St. Patrick's Day is not really an outdoor sport. Typically, no. So we're okay tonight. Typically, with no. Uh, there, there's been a year or two, and we talked about this a couple days ago, and luckily we found this graphic of like how different St. Patrick's And you can it say can that about almost right. any holiday in Maine. We had a we had a Fourth of oh, July true. that wasn't that warm, <laughs> and a, you know, and yeah. a, a warm Christmas, whatever. But St. Patrick's Day strikes me as one of those Memorial Day too, where it's like it could really go a, a number of directions. Um, so our warmest was 64, and let me tell you how old this makes me feel because we were just saying the other day, Brian was here, Amanda and I were like, oh, we went out to Brian Brews that day. It was really warm. That was 13 years ago, <laughs> 2010. Coldest three below in 1967. Wasn't around for that one, at least I can say that. Snow, 6.7. Bangor has a similar theme. Its warmest was uh, 2010, and it was 62 degrees, coldest one degree. So, yeah, big, big swings. And today, kind of meh, in the middle, right? We ended up around 40 degrees with some rain showers. I will say... Over the last hour or hour and a half, the radar really started to fill in here. So if you're heading out, just be aware that we're looking at more than showers right now. It's, I would say it's a consistent light rain from Portland West and then snow into the mountains where they're going to accumulate a couple of inches tonight. And you look to the west and you can see some back edges here and some breaks in the action. But unfortunately, timing wise, I think the worst of this for showers is say six to nine in a lot of spots and then things settle down. So we zoom out. Cold front, warm front. We'll wriggle in the warm front through. We've got to get the cold front through late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Then we can have a dry and more pleasant weekend. Currently 42 in Portland, 42 West Cassett, 40 in Bangor. These temperatures inland make me think we're going to have a hard time getting uh, even any ineffective snow out of this situation. It looked like we were going to get a few snowflakes, but I don't know. I think it's going to be Foothills Mountains, northern Maine now as far as that snow goes. And you can see it going till about midnight there. And then the cold front comes through. You can't really see it, but it's right here. That drags through in the early morning hours. So you wake up tomorrow. A lot of us are going to wake up to clouds, even an isolated sprinkle over down East Maine, although most of us are dry. And then we clear out, but it takes about half the day to do so. So we get to about noon and then we start to clear out more consistently. The afternoon looks good. Mid to upper 40s and some low 50s are possible. A couple of snowflakes possible overnight tomorrow night. Not a big deal, but a totally different feeling on Sunday. High pressure will be digging down some colder air. It'll be breezy. It'll be a little cloudier. So it'll feel like a different season because these temperatures middle of the day, it's only about freezing if that. Mountain's quite cold, so if you're going skiing, think February, January gear, not March gear. Like put your face away. You know, my March skiing and April skiing, you usually can have your face out. Uh, so nothing really going on after that. It's quiet. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next system comes in maybe Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. And that looks like kind of a glorified version of today. Warm front, cold front, but more moisture. At this time, it looks like a lot of that moisture could fall in the form of rain, but we still have time to uh, nail that down. So yeah, guys, not a whole lot going on in the first day of spring, as I think Aaron did a story on here, is uh, March 20th, so it's Monday. So we'll start launching into spring. I don't see anything anomalous in either direction. Again, that storm on Thursday, Friday is kind of what you'd expect this time of year, which is a mixture, but nothing super, super cold and nothing uh, all that mild either. I think it's safe to say at this point that, you remember when we had that cold snap in February? Yeah. And I said, this is probably the coldest air of the season. I mean, it would take it a real a disaster for that not to be true now as we kind of ride towards the end of March. I hope you don't have to eat those words. Yeah, that would be, really be very bad. <laughs> All right, Keith, thanks so much.